Hello, and welcome to my channel Bingo Gaming. Um, I do have a working TV here. So we're gonna do, we're gonna um, build a working TV Minecraft today. It's a fairly simplistic design here. Basically, what it is here, you load the memory in here, and so basically, this is all customizable. Be able to um, put whatever you want in this white space here. And, it, like, whatever you want on the screen, you put in the redstone blocks here, and it'll come up on the screen. It's a very, very, um, simple design here. This can be used as movie theater, you know, being able to use it in a movie theater. You could use this as, like, a big billboard. You could use this as, like, a big sign, like, you could have, like, in your city, you could have the temperature scroll by, the city name scroll by, and stuff like that. And it's basically, you turn it on and it just keeps repeating the same stuff that's in there until you press this, this button here. This is like the on off switcher. And so you turn this on, it, it starts to cycle. You turn it off and it just goes to this blink screen here. And so I will show you that right here. And I'll explain a little bit more as it goes. Okay. And so there's some time. You'll start seeing the one here we go over here. And so then you're gonna see two, you're just gonna have it you're gonna see scroll by. And so this is a working TV and this isn't a joke. I didn't just get you here to uh scam you or anything, this is actually a working TV. It's a very simple one, it's not very complex, but it's easy enough that you guys can we can do a tutorial on. You guys can copy and build in your world. And it's something kinda cool to show off to your friends. So. And they might even want to do this, so that's pretty cool. Like you see, and then they they want to build, and this is not very hard build. And then you be able to have it in your world. And basically, obviously, the speakers and stuff were just decoration. You can make that flush. You could build it into a wall. And so, if you're doing like a movie theater, you could um, you know, walk in, have the thing start, and then come around and stop, and then do stuff like that. They have like maybe like a stick man or something around. I don't know what we call it, but. Um, yeah, and so this is actually something happening, so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a TV, a digital TV, I guess you could say. But it, obviously for tutorials, I just had, um, the numbers here, just to show you, but it can be anything, you could have anything, um, scroll by here, like I said, city names, temperatures, um, Whatever, this could be a big billboard advertising something in the world. I don't know what you call it, but yeah. Very cool, and I'm definitely going to use this now, so. And it's like a lot of these builds I come up with, and I actually use it in my world, so. Very cool stuff. Yeah, definitely, and you can put these all over the world. This is simple enough to build, like, look at this. This is simple enough to build, you put it anywhere in the world, basically. This is what? I think it was like. Yeah, we'll count again. I think it was. It's less. It's like. 11 by something, 11 by 17, so it's really small actually for, this, so. for Minecraft standards, I guess. And it's a decent screen, so. And so basically, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that, that it's gonna go in this blink screen, then numbers are gonna come back up here. If you want it to stay in this blink screen, all you have to do is press this button here and it'll just stop. But for right now, it's just gonna keep scrolling forever. Here comes the one again. It's just gonna keep scrolling through this forever, so. I'm just gonna hit the button here, and when it comes back around again, it's gonna stop and it's not going to continue. Alright. So, yeah, I really, this is um, a simple way of being able to put TV in your world, I guess. You can, you can say that you have a working Minecraft TV, so. I'm glad all of you decided to uh, click on the video and join in today because this is, um, we're getting to a very exciting build right here. This is probably one of my favorite builds, I think, out of all the videos I put up so far. So, And the cool thing, the most, you know, the most useful thing, you know, you build it in the world and then you're able to build a whole, whole bunch all over and then you're able to, like, do different stuff with it. And I think this is the most functional, most usable thing. So, um, yeah, so. 
Yeah, we will be getting into a building now, so I just wanted to show you when it gets back around to 8, that it will stop. I just want to show you the whole thing, and so, um, so you can see that it's actually all working on that mess room for you guys, so. That's why the intro might be a little bit longer, but that's okay. We'll get in the building, yes, and it won't take long, so. And you guys are always patient for me, anyways. So. A lot of my builds, like, they're longer, but you guys stick with me, so. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so it's gonna come back to this blink screen here, and I'm gonna show you that this will actually shut down here. See how this is going on over here? When this gets around to the blink screen, it will stop. Until you press this button again. And so you can um, basically just have the thing running forever if that's how you choose, or you could actually have it working as like a TV like I have it here. I just have the whole thing here. You can just kind of modify it as you please here. Um, as you know, you build it the way I have it, and then you can just kind of modify it to the different ways in world or the way that you're intending to use it. So, yeah, so. Look at that, so it all stopped and it won't go again until I press that button. So we're gonna, yeah, so we're gonna learn how to build a Minecraft TV right now. Yeah, alright. So, we'll get into that now. Alright, everyone, let's get started on this. Let's get working on your, let's get started on the TV here. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna do is count so it's going to be 21 in length by 18 in width 15 high i'll repeat that again it's 21 length 18 in width and 15 high and if you think about it, it's actually pretty cool you know to have a you know working functional minecraft tv it's pretty cool you can do it in that little space it's actually really that small for minecraft so yeah, this is pretty universal, you can pretty much put this anywhere, so that's nice. So, okay, so you can pause the video, do that, clear your space, whatever you gotta do, and alright, let's start now. So the first thing we're gonna do, is come over here, this white block here, and go 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm just gonna take this white thing out here, so it's not in the way. And you go 1, 2, 3, 4. And go all the way here, and you fill the rest here. And then we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five. And then your second, you one, two, three, four, five, six. So the block next side, and then we get a button out, and just put a button here. To make this easier later on. What I'm going to do is just take the redstone here and go all the way over here to the end. Just like that. That's all you need to do for now. It's just going to make it easier. And then, so there's no repeat issues. You can go 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and put it here on the 13th block. Alright, so. Next, what we're gonna do is get out regular pistons here. Come over here and count one, two. I count one, two, three. Put a piston. Go on up here. Take that out. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna come all the way over here to. This block here, put one here, take that out, and count one, two, three, four, five, six. And then here, you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on that twelve block. You're just gonna go one over here, place that block, take that out, and count six up. One, two, three, four. Oops. It's one, two, three, four, and two more, five, six. Then you're gonna count um, 12 over again here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's not gonna reach, is it? They should actually match up with this, but make sure this is 12 all the way around here. It's a good check. So, one, this count here. And you just, we're actually gonna be using weight blocks or weight will fill us in at first, anyway. So, just go one, two, one, two, three. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Because... Well, that should be 11, so I'm not... Make sure this is 11 here. Oh, you know what? Bring this in. Yep, this is supposed to be 11. And so... I screwed up, it was not 405, and so it just threw the whole thing off. It's not, I was gonna say, it's not gonna push 14 blocks. That's good that we checked that now, not later on. No. So, got that done here. We can make, and then, and then just do this here. Go in the corner again and bring all the way up, just follow this right here. You already have kind of a backbone here, so this can i do that. This pistons are a pain here. Okay. Bring them down. And then you can take this out here. And make sure this is 12. We can count one more time. Make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're good. Then you can count here. Make sure this is... Um, here, this is 12. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay. So, if we need to push out, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can actually bring this one more up here. It doesn't have to be, but you get one more extra space. Two extra spaces actually in your TV, so it's worth it. Let's bring that out one more. And then from here you're just gonna count one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And it should match. And uh, think of this as it pushing the block this way, one. And so we wanna make sure that this can up. Why is this not matching up, I swear? I don't think that's thirteen though, it's not gonna be able to push it. And why did I use black wool? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I don't. Oh, because. Uh, why would that work? Bring it in. 1. Because this isn't even with us. I don't know why we didn't catch that. But. So now you're just gonna do is on this one here. Actually, on this one here. Make sure there's it going all the way up here. And then the rest of these make sure it's too high, but leave a space here, leave this hollow. The same here, all three hollow except for that one in the corner that I see that I said leave open or fill be filled in this one right here. I'm just waiting to double check one more time. This is all 12 because there was a little bit of confusion. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, including that one. Now, this counts as 1 here, so it should be 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, okay. And then make sure that yours isn't um, bigger than that. Make sure that it's 11 all the way around, except for this one here. That's going to be 12 in this direction and 12 in this direction here. Because I just screwed that up. I just want to make sure that it's not, because if you don't get that right, it's not going to work later on. Hey, we're going to have to change things and go back in the video, and it's not good. So make sure this is six, uh, 7 here, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So go up to this. 
once you get all that and then all you're gonna do is just fill this all in the front wall all the way up to the top and then we're actually gonna program actually you know what we're gonna get it and so we're gonna put a little mechanics in it then we're gonna program it and then we're gonna finish the, the mechanics in it to make it completely work up there because it's gonna make everything easier and then we'll put the decorations in the screen up at the end and you'll see why and if you haven't caught on yet the way this design works it actually could be expanded all you have to do is kind of like zigzag it this so when it gets to 12 just kind of like push it out and have another piston taken that's kind of have to zigzag through here I try to do that but then I figured it's fine to make it easier for you guys so I just hit a square so it's not meant to be a very complicated build but for you guys uh, know a little bit more about the redstone stuff here we'll uh, take this to the next level and they could probably make this really cool, make it a, have a lot of memory in it and have it do a lot of different cool stuff, so, yeah. That'd be really cool to see. Okay, so now, got that all filled in, and if you haven't gotten to this spot yet, make sure it's 11 on each side, except for this 12 here, in each direction. Go back in the video if you need to, otherwise we're going to start a little bit of mechanics here. So right here, block, then you're going to count two up like this, count two up, and you count two up again like this. Then there's going to be a torch, 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 and a redstone here, redstone here, redstone here, redstone here. You want to make sure that everything's extended. Over here, the, um, it should have all pushed to the side, and so that's good if we did that. It's going to do this, and they're going to do the same thing all the way around for every single piston thing here. All of this. And sets two, and I do two more. Let's kind of put it on here. This, 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 and this. Bam, bam, torch, torch, redstone, 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 redstone. Now, what we're gonna do is, now these are all extended, what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna put a block here, we're gonna go all the way around with us. We're gonna, so we're gonna go up one air block and then we're just gonna go all the way around tracing what's below. So it's like a big ring. Oops. This is follow the white, it's good. And then for this here we're gonna do is just gonna go on out. Take go out two. Over here. They go out two. Over here, go out two. And over here go out two. And then you're gonna put um, redstone on this whole thing. Leave one space. Let's see. Just leave one space here. So it doesn't do that. Otherwise, put redstone on this whole thing except for that one space. We're gonna fill that space in after. But for the Intuit program, I don't wanna do that. And so when that's all done, you can put this here to make it so. And just make sure it shuts off slowly. So I should self that. Very self-explanatory, I guess. And then you're gonna do is right over here, put a Peter here, vortex, all right here, and let's go all the way around here with this. Once we're done with the repeaters here, we should be ready to get this program here. We're gonna make sure. And do that, then put this here. And then you're just gonna want to put a button here for now. And then you could just make sure this actually just cycle around. See. Ah, uh, let's see what I. Let's make sure the peers are in the right direction. Out wall. 
Oh, make sure the it starts here. Make sure it starts over here. And take this out. Because I got it pushed over here when I put stuff in. Make sure it's back over there. We'll see here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I see. Put the repeaters in the other direction. That's right. I put them in the wrong direction here. So take the repeaters and just... It's simple as that. Let's screw that up. So it's... Oh, the machine's actually going to reverse order. That's not going to be good. We don't want that. So let's just take these and not a big deal. We can just... I don't know if it's... So now what we're going to do is put a button here. And now we can just make sure. Yeah, alright. See, it has all push in here, like that. You can see it go all the way around like this. So that's pretty much the basics here. And we're gonna program it right now. Alright guys, so what we're gonna do now is program this. And so, yeah, we're gonna program your TV right now. So what we're gonna do is first get out some yellow wall. And take this whole front panel out here. And two here. And just make it all yellow here. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, this can be when I finally get to the part here, it's all gonna be customizable. So and it can be expanded upon what's here if you're willing to put the extra time in. And do that and if you do come up with something kind of cool for your TV design let me know and click the link just or personally message me or something I'll watch it like if you make a video or whatever and of the TV and you kind of have a cool design and you want to share with me that you find just like leave a link in the comments or something I'll look at it I'm gonna show you how to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have like the numbers like I did over here on the other one come up just as a you know for tutorial purposes. So. And so what we're gonna do here is just take your glass out and put glass here. Now anywhere but the like where the yellow in the glass is, you can't program that, but the rest of the white area you can. So what we're gonna do is we're for this we can bring this around this. Now one thing you do need to make sure here is when we do start putting the redstone blocks in here in a minute, you can't be um, doing what I'm doing here otherwise it's gonna like, it's gonna make the redstone, it's gonna make like the whole contraption, it's gonna like it, it's gonna make the display screw up basically. And it's not gonna look good. And so what it's relying on is the fact that it's it's moving like really fast the machine here it's basically going to keep doing this it's keep moving and moving and moving if it stops then it's going to get caught up and so and if it stops in yellow it's fine it's just on the white we want it to keep moving and so what we're going to do is we're going to program it all the way around but once we get to the um we get the weight all the way over here and you start programming it don't do what i'm doing here manually otherwise it's going to screw the display up and you have to reprogram it, it's not, that's not fun, so. Heat of warning. Alright. So, for me, I'm, this is where, like, anywhere in the white here, you can put right, I'm just gonna show you something here. And so, I'm gonna put the numbers here, starting it, I'm gonna put the display, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by whatever this is in the redstone block here. It's gonna show up on the display, I'll show you what I'm seeing through. That's one. And two, and you don't need to put numbers here, you can put whatever you want for this. Remember, whatever blocks you choose for the redstone is going to show up on the display. And it's fine, it's not a two way, so. So, fix that. No. Three. And I'll put, and then I'll put the display in. So you can see what I mean. Because once you get the first panel here, all customized the way you guys want, then. All you have to do is put, you can, you can put the display in now. That's why I didn't, because otherwise we're going to have to take the display out to program it. And so I'll show you what I mean. 
So that's what I'm seeing. See, so whatever redstone block here, and you is gonna light up on this plate. And so from there, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think you can um. This is where you can pretty much um, let the creativity take the best of you and um, program this any way you guys like. So, again, if you come for a cool design and you're able to like it in, you actually take the time, you know, the zigzag this and kind of make it so it's more than just this little square here. Um, definitely leave in the comments and I will wa I'll look at, watch the TV, the, what you have created, and yeah, because I would kind of cool to see. And so I'm just going to continue with the numbers. And so that's what, one block here, so I'll just do this. Four. Four. And it's kind of come around here. And this is just going to loop around, obviously, and so I have it like this. Oh, I don't want to do this. And so the four is just going to loop around here. Now from here you don't want to do it because if you, the redstone block actually stops here, it's going to make the, like I said, it's going to screw the display up and you have to reprogram it, so. Just do what I'm doing here, just kind of like program it the way I am here. And just know that it's going to loop around to this eventually and so it'll show up and then it'll just kind of keep going, so. I'm just going to quick put numbers in here. So we have something. To show you, and seven. I'll be able to put an eight into. Yeah. And so this is very simple program, obviously. I was doing here. I'm putting numbers in, and then that's all that. That's all you have to do. So anything you can think of, you can program right here. Get the space, the white space. Alright, and so next what we're going to do is, we can fill this in here, take that button now, don't press it now, otherwise you can screw this boy up. Take every lock here and here on the corners and just place it with white wall. And we're going to actually make this TV work now. And now we're going to go up three if the pistons here and just do this and I'm gonna do this for, and make sure this is sticky pistons this time out because it's gonna break the block up and down. And you're gonna do this for every corner. All the way around this thing. Oops. And if um you lost me with the whole programming thing, just rewind the video obviously and you'll be able to do that. So and so I'll just kind of pause, so you can pause the video there, make sure you got everything set. Next thing we're going to do is all the way around here, we're going to connect the pieces up with white wool. That is so right I'm going now. And I hope you know what I mean by like zigzagging, so I mean like you could take this here and then one, I'm sorry, when you bring this over here, then you could have like a piston here. Push it this way, and then have it come over here. Now, I just didn't want this to be a really long tutorial, so I didn't do that. But you could just have it keep one and have it extend all the way the heck back here, so you can have a, a lot of memory, and so you can have like a lot of stuff programmed in the TV. So, I think if you do take the time and spend, you know, some time on this, you just don't have to be that long, and I think you. Could, um, do something really cool for us, so and definitely if you do just make a quick video submit a link to the video in the comments I will watch it and I will personally message you because I would really like to see that and then um if you do that then I'll um I can share that if you don't want me to that I can share that in the next video and show everyone the TV so you can just submit it in the comment link and then I'll just put it in the next video and then and I'll give you a shout out to it if you like. So please do that. Alright and so what we can do and then and then just do the same thing you did here. Their peers can go let's see I just had it in the opposite direction so I guess we can 
fix that so same top and bottom it's fine they're pretty much just copying what we did over on the bottom here not too complicated though got this all right and so what we can do is just take this out here and just take this whole thing out like that we don't need that there and then right here we can kind of maybe bring this down see, like this and then here you're just gonna put a um, make sure it's like this huh? make sure it's like that and then you're gonna put a torch here a torch here and put that there and can take this out redstone here and make sure you have a two repeaters here and vortex redstones and a redstone tying up here actually now what I want to do is have this come down to here that's my bad we want the redstone want this to here and this here Let's do this. That easy. And then what you can do is, yep, bring it over here, and they can put this. We'll just cut out a different area. That's all. Put that back in, and then you can just take this out here. There. So, just like that. Otherwise, it's gonna flood. Don't have it all connected. Otherwise, it's gonna flood. Make sure there's open space. Here. So, let's see here if we put a lever switch, what will happen? Hopefully this works. Alright. And so as you can see here, um, this is pretty much the basics of your TV set. Make sure um, you don't just like stop this midway and corrupt it otherwise it, it could screw up the display and you have to reprogram the whole thing again and uh, no one wants to do that so and if you are going to stop it make sure it's on the yellow and I'm going to show you how it's going to shut off on the yellow. You'll be able to press a, this button down here and it'll shut off on the yellow if you want any issues. And if you want to just have this keep running forever it won't screw up the display just if you stop it like midway and you know, so. When it gets around to the yellow I'm going to stop the display when it gets around. When it gets around, when the last block is like over here, see the yellow display, make sure the yellow display is um, covering this so it's blank. And then I'm going to shut off the whole thing here. I just wanted to um, make sure, and you can test this too, just make sure it all works. When the yellow comes over here, and the yellow and the, this eight is on this panel completely over here, it's safe to hit this lever. So one more, um, one more actually, one more. So the yellows there, all right? Then you shut it off right there. All right, and it shouldn't have done anything to your display that way. Uh, and then obviously it's not gonna you won't have to do that every time because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make it so it's gonna stop at the same spot every time when you can turn the TV on enough okay so if you have that you're in a good spot and we're going to finish this up and now all right everyone and so what we're gonna do now is I've, I've made a few modifications here because uh, I screwed this up this was a four tick delay here and all these here run it's gonna make it a one tick delay here. I screwed that up. It just needs to be a one tick. And this here was an eight tick here. You're just gonna make this um, four repeaters on a four tick instead of eight repeaters on a four tick. And so I made, otherwise this is completely the same. I just did that because I made that mistake and I noticed that after. So without further ado, we're gonna finish this up now. This is the decorations, add in the last of the redstone and stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is add a T flip flop in which basically you send a pulse in and it gives you a strong signal here so I'm going to go 
One, two, two up. Peter, redstone. Torch. And, and, and this, this. I'll back up so you guys can see this in this one. Okay, so that's what you should have right now. And this here, this, and then the way I have this here, you can stick this redstone out. It's not needed. Bam. Put that there. Go all the way over to the. Leave one space in between the glass in here, so that's not in the way. You can put a block here and do this here. You can put redstone here, put a torch here, and do this. Over here, you're just going to put this and this. Then, what we're going to do is going to bring this up here, that, bring this over here, do like this, down like the staircase, over and under, Bring this over here. We're gonna bring the torch tower up the middle. And so let's see, like right over here, we're just gonna be able to go. You can go two out here and come down. It's completely good. Like this. And it's kind of make spaces in here for the torches. Now you want to make sure that this is yeah so take this out and just with this surface here and put words like that then I'm just gonna connect this up with this line that we brought over here oops and it's gonna be repeater issue obviously so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disconnect this here and so we're not gonna start anything take the torch out here put all the repeaters in we need to so Peter here, all the way up, take this, put the torch back in, put the redstone back, and we're going to see if this stops like it's supposed to. And so basically, this would be turning it on here, and so basically what, what's going to happen is, um, this right here is... You turn that button on, it turns it on, and even if the um, glass box comes around, it turns this off, which would turn the torch off. This is still over here, so it's just going to keep looping and looping and looping if you do choose so. However, if you do hit this button again to turn it off, the TV off, what it's going to do is, now this is off when the glass box comes around here. Since this isn't powered anymore, this is just going to make this go off. And it's going to turn this whole system off here, and so that's how that works. If you're wondering. And so we're just going to have this come all the way around here. Oh, and if you guys haven't yet, we can put the display back. Ugh, we can put the display back over here. Um, yeah. Wait, wait for it to stop working. The yellow part's going to come all the way over here, so technically it's in opposition here, so when the glass box comes over here, this whole thing should be yellow, which would make um, the display be off, and it should just stop and not cycle anymore, until you turn this, until you push this button again. Yeah. And so, yeah, we'll wait for it to come back around here. I start at 7. 8 is our last number, and yellow is coming around here. And if it stops successfully, all we have to do is put our decorations in front here to make it look stellar. To make, because that's pretty cool. Again, you can build this in. You don't have to put the decorations in, depending on how you're using this. 
so yeah yeah so when this comes around over here basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna shut the torch off and it's just gonna shut the whole system on it should if it passes we might need to do a few modifications but otherwise it should be okay it's the way I had it on the other one so we will see and so that shut off yeah, so we'll get that shut off, and it's completely make sure this whole thing's yellow over here, and yeah, we're ready to go. So what we're gonna do is, if you haven't yet, just put you can put your display here, where completely here on this yellow, just put the display, in. and so I'll show you the TV on and off again once we get this all put back together. So you can go back in the video if you did make a mistake. So like that, then you can put, get your black wall out here, do this, kind of come around, let's make this look a little bit more professional, let's see what I did over here, this one I see, alright, so let's see here, what I did was, yeah, do this all the way up here, go all the way up until Let's see, there's 15. Oh, and I, I swear I did that, so. Come all the way up to here. Let's see, let me follow this So. Yeah, so go all the way up to here because it's where, and then after that, that should be 14 up actually. And after that, we're going to be putting. Um, I'll put that up after, but you know. And so now we're just going to. Fill, just fill this whole back wall in with black wool and then um, I'll put the speakers in and so I'll do the same thing on the other side bring this all the way up actually what you can do is just take this and bring it up, bring it up like this so you know it's the right height this back wall Oops. Do, 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 do. So this. Oh, there we go. Alright. And. Yeah, it's just something the mouse cursor was just get off the screen. Alright, so. Yeah, like this. And so now, what we're gonna do is add a little bit of speakers and stuff in. Out the wall with flush. And so what I did was just, I just did this all the way up. I go all the way up until you get to this. Just like that. We can bring the speakers over. And yeah, like this. Let me make sure there's one space around the whole thing. It makes it look better in my opinion, I guess. This you can pretty much however your preferences I guess if you're making it kind of like a big TV I guess you can do it I think this is kind of a cool touch in my opinion I guess but everyone's got their own opinion so I think this gives it kind of a slick work for it having the big speakers around and everything and so now what we're going to do is get our fence and we're just going to outline this Completely, I just have it like this. See what I have here? Got. Oh, you know what I did? Is take this. I like that better. Actually, take this out here. Black wall. Yeah, that looks better. Because now instead of having four, you have three, and so it's three and three instead of three in the size and four on top. That makes more sense. And up here, I have this all the way up, and I. Let's come all the way over here and all the way down. Alright, and so like this. And so that should be pretty good. Okay, so next. Okay, so we're like really close to being done here. I'm gonna show the TV working one more time before we quit. So, yep. 
so then I just put this here in for the And then, can I do this? Yeah. If you're making this like a big TV, you can kind of fill this in. All the way up, let's see like that. This should be really exploring to this at this point. Again, you know, if you want to um, change the programming at a time on the TV, it's pretty easy to do. So, you just come in here, you can make like a door in here, and then okay. if you're making this like in the wall, obviously, you don't need to do all this. This is just if you can have it in open, this makes it look a little bit better. But anyway, we're just gonna fill in each wall. Like this. Yeah, so, uh, what I was saying before about, um, let's see, so, my channel. But in the last video, I kind of just, you can go back to, um, it's just a combination lock. I'm going to start doing the videos again, if you haven't watched my last video. So, I'm going to start doing it, and I've, um, had a couple ideas on how to take the channel. And so I can do, like, every, like, every day, I can have, like, a certain video. Like, I could have like a Minecraft tutorial every single Wednesday, or I can incorporate some of the like Call of Duty in and do some helpful tips on that. Or if you like to stick with the Minecraft, that's fine too. You can leave it in the comments too on this video or the last one. I just figure I'll let you know here. So, and if you have any ideas on how I should take the channel, let me know. I'm doing it for you guys, so yeah. Any suggestions will be appreciated. Oh, I went too far. Almost. While I um, test the TV again for you guys, I'll just um, do my end little comments. And then you know, everyone can go on their merry way and you can enjoy your TV Minecraft. You can sit back, relax, you can put a couch, you can build a couch, and you can relax and watch you. You can have like um, a big mansion, you can put this TV in there, big mansion. <laughs> Thought of that, that'd be really cool if I had some mansion and a big TV. Have a big speaker system. This is like really cool. Like I'm definitely gonna be using this. Oh. And then lastly you can just fill in your roof. Really isn't that complicated. And it's pretty simple like this, like once you get the hang of this, you can, like I said, pretty much put this anywhere that you want. So. Something cool to show your friends, I guess. Uh -huh. Almost there. Alright, and we just can decorate that however you like, but that's a bit little building here for now. Okay, so. Oh, and you can make this grass too. Whatever you have. Doesn't need to be a white wall. 
this. Alright. And so it's justice. Oh, did I push it? Um, I don't think I pushed it. I push it. Right. And so I hit the on button. And we should see our little thing. Our one start to come up. Or, yeah, let's see where that are. Eight. That is starting its numbers. See, we're counting up or down. Oh, over this side. Look at that. It's working. Working TV in Minecraft. You got your own working TV in Minecraft. That is really cool. How many people can say that? Now you're one of them. Yeah, and so, while I just go, um, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please hit the bell at the top of my YouTube page to get alerted every time a video comes out because like I said I'll be doing this um, video always again one or more week. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you liked it, um, tell a friend about it if you think I did a good job and you want to share definitely tell friends. Um, leave a comment, um, anything you think I could do better, any compliments. Um, I definitely like the criticism, again I check the comments like 24-7 so um, anything that happens I will personally message you or um, leave a comment within 24 hours. Yeah. And so yeah, we wait for this to get around at 8 and I want to we'll see it cycle back. Like right now I have it on and it, it should just keep cycling until I hit that button and it should just turn off. And so I'll wait for that to happen. Once that happens, um, we will end the video. If you got what you wanted, I guess you can uh, quit the video now, I guess. It's, I just want to make sure for any of you guys that might be solving issues, I just want to make sure that everything's all working for you guys. And there's no issues with the TV. And so like right here, it's gonna go to a blank screen, but it'll eventually kick back in because I didn't hit this yet, so. I didn't hit the off button, so basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna come back over here. Continue. Yeah, thanks. so I should come back with one and start counting it up again. And what I'll do is if it does that, I'm just gonna hit the off button and see if it stops. Next time it comes around. And so like that, see it's one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the button. And now, what's going to happen is when it comes back around, it's going to just, it's going to stop. And so it's just going to turn off when it comes back around again in cycles. I really do think this is a really, I think you can take this to um, really cool. You could take this again on a larger scale and make this more complicated and definitely, uh, if you um, have a design, you know, have your TV programmed and you can send your that uh, your display to me or you can uh, record your, record it and send what you um, the TV, like the video of you playing the TV to me and I will watch it and I will comment it just leave the link in the comment I guess I'll watch for that so I really want to see what people come up with. This, this could be taken, like I said, pretty much. So, you pretty much get every single pixel here to deal with. So, this is just boring numbers, but you know, it's easy enough to show for the YouTube or for the tutorial. Yeah. And so, yeah, we're coming up on here. So, now when it comes back around here, it should be off and I'll just um, check to make sure the machine's off I'll just punch a hole in it and so we're not waiting another 10 minutes to make sure it's not gonna come back around so right now it should, shouldn't be on like it shouldn't come around again it should be off because I hit the button it's the power switch and so that should be it until I hit the button again so I'll just check.
and there we go. The whole thing's turned off for you guys. And this thing's happening. And so the power button did work. It did work. It did what it was supposed to. I hit the power button, it turned off. And if I hit the power button, again, it would turn on. So, yeah. Working TV Minecraft. You gotta work a TV Minecraft now. If you, something didn't make sense and it's not working, message me. I will figure it out for you guys. I wanna make sure that um, you're successful if the build is here. And, um, or let me know if there's like any builds here. I do. There's an update that comes out and it destroys the build and it doesn't work anymore just let me know and I'll make sure to let people know and I'll leave and I'll figure, I'll figure something out and come up with a fix for it so the stuff still works I don't know I don't think there's anything in here that would break but who knows so yeah if you enjoyed hit the bell at the top of my page so you're alerted for videos subscribe like comment um See. Yeah, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell at the top of my page, and ciao.